happy today. Let us know if you are happy and if you're enjoying your day. And what are your plans for the long weekend? It is a clear live on Instagram, on Twitter, as well as on Facebook. I don't have any plans yet, so if you feel like you have plans for me, make sure you slide into my DMs and let me know. Right now, though, joined by a talented, well-matured dancer in the building. She goes by the name of Utanzi. She's been dancing for almost 10 years now. Started at a very young age at church, like we all do, and then just bloomed and become a dancer as well as a choreographer. But without any further ado, help me welcome the talented Tansby in the building. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. First and foremost, I want to find out when did you start dancing? I mean, you start, you've been in the game for 10 years, yeah. but when was that moment where you're like, oh man, I love this. I, this is what I want to do. Yeah, like, so like you said, I started in church. Mm -hmm. I grew up in church and that's where I saw dance. Like for the first time, younger than five, and I knew I wanted to do it. Yeah. And then like as time went on, mm -hmm. um, I kind of still dabbled in dance a bit, but it was really frowned upon by some family members yeah. and you know, like, no, get a real job. Art mm -hmm. is not a job. And I think I tried to do other things, but dance was always a passion that kind of pushed. Yeah. And I think only after high school, I really was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. So then after high school, I pursued it. And yeah, it's been it's been that ever since. I mean, as you touched on, it's it's not really a, a career that people are saying, oh, like, take this seriously. Yeah, people yeah, just yeah. think, oh, you can just be talented. But what actually goes into making sure that you are a successful dancer? I'm sure mm. there's talent, but mm. there's also technique. And there's yeah. so much that goes into it. So talk to us about your journey. Yeah, I mean, talent will really get you into the door. Mm. Um, natural raw talent or just talent that you've worked at. But I definitely do think that you... Firstly, you need to want to do it with, with your passion. Yeah. Like people say, oh, it's my passion. But it's definitely... Your passion is something that you almost... Um, want to like hurt for or like you know go through something the most for yeah. but i think um you really just have to believe in yourself first and yeah. it is difficult in the industry yeah. but mostly you really have to have discipline i think that discipline in every regard whether it's an emotional discipline yeah. or it's a physical discipline yeah. it's like something you need to put within yourself to kind of just carry on and also just like remember why you started i think mm. that's something for me i take it further in mm. my career mm. i wanted to start when i was five and i kind of every time i have like a little bit of a weak moment Moment, yeah. a moment of like a dry spell yeah. I kind of go back to that moment where I saw dance for the first time so yeah oh man I love seeing you talk about it because you seem you. so happy about it yeah. too. talk to me about the dance for all program. yes so I started I was in the bridging program at dance for all mm -hmm. and basically it's a year program to bridge you into becoming a professional dancer mm. and I was there for about like two years yeah. um, I joined the young inspirations company as well and then after that I then went into training in another program yeah. jazz or dance theater for three years mm. and I also became company and I got to choreograph yeah. and like work with other dancers more mm. exposure so yeah that was basically my training journey into my professional career and I mean you talk about the fact that you moved from being just a dancer into being a choreographer which yeah. I assume is a different role completely oh, there's yes. so much that goes into choreography <laughs> definitely uh, how, how does that look like for you how was the transition mm. to from moving to a dancer was it easy was it one that was like mm, okay yeah. a few stumbling blocks here but eventually got it yeah, um, I think it just it really it felt easy to me because I always love creating. Mm. Um, like people say, like okay, you were dancer, but I feel like as I'm, I'm becoming a well-rounded artist within yeah. my own right, of course. Um, yeah. I love my craft or whatever, yeah. but I think when I got the opportunity to finally create on like all the people and not just like on myself in the mirror at home yeah. um i think it was just something that kind of came to me naturally yeah. because um i love people's stories i love yeah. listening to it and i think the first time i really created on different bodies yeah. i kind of wanted to tell stories yeah. and then it kind of just it just happened it just happened naturally yeah it is and it's been <laughs> happening naturally for you as yes. well I want to talk about the fact that you are, it's one thing to know that you're a dancer, mm. it's another thing to know that you're a good dancer that is representing <laughs> your country internationally. Yeah, How you. did that feel for you? I mean, I didn't expect the opportunity when it happened. I, um, we, when we applied to, to travel and travel abroad, I was yeah. like, you know what, um, I've got nothing to lose, I might yeah. as well. And I've always wanted dance to take me many places mm. to travel. And um, yeah, it was, it was overwhelming. And I think I only realized, it only sunk in when, I, when it was all over. Yeah. And I missed it so much now. And obviously like with COVID and all of the things, it stopped and it ended certain things. But yeah, it really was, I think I was just so humbled and just so grateful to get that experience. And yeah. I'm sure you showed up and showed off. I tried. <laughs> As a person who likes to travel, I'm yeah. sure it was not just about a traveling experience, but also uh, uh, training yourself as a dancer as yes well. yes definitely that, that, that really just sounds amazing it, it was i want to get into though what genres are you doing as a dancer is it contemporary yeah is it you know salsa mm. like what are you into because sometimes people will be like i specialize in this this, yes. this i can also do that yeah, yeah. what's that like for you um for 
me, like people always ask, and like I love all genres. Like I, I think that this one of dance yeah. is insane. The umbrella around it, yeah. and I, I definitely, well, I would say that like I specialize in contemporary because it's what I was predominantly trained in. Mm. But I also I've been trained in many different styles, yeah. and yeah, so I, I never close the door to learning new styles or yeah. to like dabble in others um, because it, does, it actually benefits your other genres better if you learn new things. Yeah. So predominantly I'm a contemporary dancer, yeah. I train in contemporary, I teach choreograph contemporary, but I do also use other influences in my work. So yeah. Right. Um, and then I want to find out if someone maybe is watching here and they want to be a dancer, yes. where can they go? What is the first step? And where can we find you on social media also if we just maybe like, hmm, I like this lady, yeah. I like how she talks, okay. I like how she dances yeah. most importantly, where can we do that? Um, so you can find me on Instagram, mm -hmm. so just Tansley underscore Yester. And yeah. then, um, yeah, so basically, um, I teach at different studios. Mm. And if you want to find out more, you can just contact me on Instagram. Mm. And then I will, I'm always open to just helping people, plugging people in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the first thing that, um, take a class, take an open class. Mm. I mean, it's very daunting when people want to join class and you don't know the teacher. And yeah. you, maybe it's a new genre to you. Mm. But I think the first thing, I mean, take a friend or even just go alone and then just learn. Maybe do some research and see mm. what you like first. And then, yeah, go for gold. I mean, yeah. I feel like anyone can dance, Basically. Uh -uh. Yeah, blind to us that not everyone can dance. Some people were born with two left feet, but it's okay because she has right feet, right and left, left feet. And she's yeah. performing and showing us how it goes down in the realm of choreography as well as contemporary.